Today we're stepping back in time to explore one of the most iconic cars in history, the legendary Ford Model T Roadster. And this one, it's over 100 years old and in absolutely immaculate condition. This isn't just any car, it's the car that brought motoring to the masses, packed with engineering so clever, it's still fascinating over a century later. Have you ever wondered why the driver's door doesn't open? Or how you even shift gears in a Model T? Trust me, it's not what you're used to. And wait until you see how the handbrake doubles as a gear shift. We'll also answer some quirky questions that make this car truly unique. Like, what powers the headlights? How does the ignition system operate? And it's not that different from modern cars. And here's a big one. How does this engine cool and lubricate itself without a water pump or an oil pump? It's a marvel of simplicity and ingenuity, but you'll have to watch the end to see just how Ford pulled it off. Trust me, this is one ride you don't want to miss. So if you're ready to uncover the secrets of this rolling piece of history, stick around. Let's explore what makes the Ford Model T Roadster a timeless masterpiece. Hundred years old. This is a model. This is a Model T Roadster. Okay. Okay. These right here are lanterns. You unscrew this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You put your kerosene in it. Gotcha. You see your smoke stack right there. Yep. All right. There's where you turn the wick at. Okay. Look in there. Wow. Okay. There's your wick. Yep. Okay. So, that was how you lit the way. And you can't drive these at night because you can't see. Right. I mean, they don't put out no light. Um, the transmission is a low high speed, okay? There's no gear shift. Okay. Okay. There's no left-hand door. Because that's where... Because of this handbrake. The brake. But that gotcha. handbrake's more than a handbrake. It, it's also neutral and high speed. Okay. Okay. All right, you put this thing in neutral, which is in the center. Okay. You match this first pedal, you're in low range. You get going down the road, you let off the pedal, you take this handbrake all the way forward, match that first pedal, and it goes into, into high, high range. It goes into high range. Okay. The center pedal, when you stop, you got to put it in neutral because once you engage it, it stays in. Mm -hmm. Okay. For me learning to drive this, me and my daddy run this thing out in 51 because I couldn't get it stopped. I let off the pedal, but it's still engaged. Uh -huh. Okay, you got to put this thing in neutral. All right, the center pedal is reverse. The right hand pedal is the brake. What little <laughs> brake you have. Okay, no front brake, just rear. Gotcha. And it's got, and this is wooden spokes. Okay. Uh, the gas tank is under this seat, and it looks like a Ford muffler. Really? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So you're sitting on a, <laughs> on a bomb. That's, I mean, it sounds safe. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. The trunk still has the- With, uh, with lit lanterns on either side. Right. Yeah. Should exactly. be fine. And the trunk still has the original wood in it. Wow. Under here is the battery. That's original wood. There's an original jack. And here's an original air pump. Wow. Because if you busted a tire on the side of the road, you jack it up, pull that tire off that rim, and you fix the tube, and you put it back together, and then you pump air in it. Wow. Okay? And what, not going to no service station? No. Not a quick endeavor. No. And now this, is this another lantern? Yes. But you see it's got a red lens. Gotcha. That way people know if you're leaving or coming. Okay? <laughs> Barely. 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 Oh, that's really neat. And the only thing I use that Duramax there for is to pull that black trailer in case I want to go out of town with one of these cars. Yeah. Because you just can't drive an old flathead or a Model A or something on the highway for a long distance. Sure. You know? Yeah. So a lot of these kind of older cars I see have louvers in the side of the hood. Is that for ventilation? Yes. Yeah. 
<clears> that, and you know, these late model cars, you can come out here and crank one of them and you're fine, okay? Now you come out here and crank one of these old cars, you better open the door and cut them fans on or you're gonna pass out, mm -hmm. okay? From carbon monoxide, because mm -hmm. they put it out. It's not okay. quite as clean earning. Right, exactly. So these lanterns, what are, what are the headlights? The headlights work, okay? But they're so dim. Probably the lantern is just as bright as that headlight. As the headlight. Wow. Okay. That is so neat. And if you get stuck, you can always undo your leather strap and crank it by hand there. Okay? Mm-hmm. That is so cool. It's uh Henry Ford knew what he was doing. Clearly. It's got four coils in it up under the dash. And they come out here and each coil fires just like the coil packs on these late model cars. Okay. Here's coil packs. Yeah. Okay. You feed them and then these feed the plug wires. Wow. Yeah. Okay. It has no oil pump, it has no water pump. All it's got is that fan with that leather belt. When the water gets so hot and that fan's turning, it makes the water circulate. Mm -hmm. The oil, no oil pump, it's got slingers on the bottom of the rod. Sloshes around. That sloshes the oil back up in the cylinder. Wow. Okay. So you ain't got no oil pump or no water pump. And very loose tolerances. Right. Very, very loose. I mean, they build them things loose. Yeah. Okay. You know, they probably got three or four thousands rod clearance when today's cars has got a thousand. Wow. One thousand clearance. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to run real thin oil on these late model cars and you run thicker oil on these old cars. Sure. Okay. Makes sense.